In this lecture, I will share with you about the efficiency of Dalton wheel. Okay, one of them is uh, the hydraulic efficiency. So this is the co uh, common uh, equation for efficiency, which is power out divided by power in. So in turbine, so Euler head will become the power out because Euler head is actually the theoretical head after the water flows out from the bucket. And then the effective head here is the input power. So the effective head here is actually the, the real energy that hit the bucket. So means that if you have a nozzle here and the water is travel at certain distance and this is the bucket. So you need to calculate what is the real energy of water just before it hit the bucket because this is the effective energy that hit the bucket. So this is the idea of effective energy. So if we substitute the value, so this is the value of Euler head. So and then the effective head here can be replaced by this equation. So how to get this equation? It's very simple. So let's say we have a velocity that hit the bucket. So, so let's say the velocity here is V1. So we know uh, that uh, in Bernoulli equation, we have P over rho G plus V square over 2G plus Z. So means that how to convert the velocity here, how to convert velocity here in terms of velocity head. So we just uh, know that the velocity here, the equation is square root 2 gh is equal to the velocity. So, and then if you want to calculate the velocity, you could calculate the h here is v square over 2 g. So, this is the, uh, the, the simple one. Or you could see from here. So, this is the, the calculation for this is the calculation for the velocity h. So, means that uh, to convert uh, velocity in terms of meter per second into meter. So we could use the idea of this equation V square over 2G. So in this uh, equation, so we could replace the effective head here by this equation V1 square over 2G and the hydraulic efficiency can be reduced into this term. Okay, to get the maximum efficiency, so we differentiate the term and equate it to zero. So I think you understand this one. So uh, I, uh, the, in uh, previous uh, lecture, we talked about this. So if we have a quadratic line like this, how to get the maximum one? Uh, so we need to, to define what is the, the maximum value. So the way we could do this is by using is dy dx. So at the same idea, so we differentiate it. So we differentiate it into d hydraulic over du. So because the idea is we, uh, we have the efficiency uh, on y axis and we have u at x axis. So we, we do the dy dx and then we equate into zero because at this point, the gradient is equal to zero. So uh, we equal it. Uh, into zero, so we will get this term. So, and then for this one, okay, for this term, it is uh, it is uh, a common knowledge that this term cannot be zero because if uh, the velocity is zero, so means uh, it will ruin the equation. So the velocity v1 is equal to zero means there are no velocity of jet. So for sure, the pattern wheel is not moving. So, and then one plus k cos 180 minus theta will cannot give any uh, any value of uh, zero. It must in positive term because you know cos sine and everything is actually fluctuate between negative one and one. So means that if we have a k here, so for sure it cannot reach one. So means that it is impossible to get uh, zero. So means that this term is actually cannot equal to zero. So 
the possibility to make sure that this equal this equation will equal to zero is this term so means that the term of 2 v1 minus 4 u it has possibility to equal to zero so the possibility is when the value of u is equal to v1 over 2 okay so and then from this statement we could say uh, we could say that to get maximum efficiency of Pelton wheel, because we are now calculating the maximum efficiency. So to get max, maximum efficiency of Pelton wheel, the speed of wheel, U, must be half of the velocity of water jet, V1. So if you, uh, okay, after this, you can uh, watch my previous notes. So that's why we have term of phi, which is the, uh, which is the u uh, with the u over v jet and in theoretical it is equal to 0 0.5 uh, i have mentioned this because if you bring the u1 uh, to the left hand side so you will have u over v1 so v1 is actually v jet so it will have 1 over 2 or 0 0.5 okay but in reality, so we cannot achieve uh, an ideal condition. So in reality, it is between 0 0.43 to 0 0.48. So this is the uh, idea how engineer to check whether the Pelton wheel is operate in uh, maximum uh, efficiency or not. So by looking the water jet velocity and also by looking the RPM. So we know that U is equal by the n over 60 so means that if we know the rpm we could convert it into the value of u and then we compare the value of u with the water jet so if we get it is almost 0 0.5 so means that that pattern wheel is working at the maximum efficiency okay so please study this because normally in exam we will ask students to cut to show uh, what is the best condition uh, in uh, to get maximum uh, efficiency in Pelton wheel? So, student uh, should answer. So, the velocity of uh, Pelton wheel must be half uh, of the velocity of jet. So, you need to prove the calculation before you could say this statement. Okay, so from the textbook, if you read a uh, textbook, you will find that the speed factor efficiency for a laboratory scale Pelton wheel, solid line here, and also the experiment data, you will find it works like this one. So, and then when the phi here is 0 0.5, so it will reach the maximum efficiency. Okay, so you must know that maximum efficiency is not 100%. So, it's maybe 0 0 0.9 0 0.85 for example because it the, it is the maximum efficiency okay so uh this is the, the combination between the uh, experimental means the real world and the calculation and then uh, we could simplify the equation we know the hydraulic efficiency is like this one and then uh, the hydraulic efficiency at maximum condition, it will give U is equal V1 over 2. We substitute into this equation so we could get the hydraulic efficiency at maximum condition can be calculated using this equation. So and then this is the power. So the power is rho GQH and uh, this is the equation so in previous notes uh, we this uh, explain about this so and then we substitute with u equal v1 over 2 and then we could simplify the power at maximum condition as like this rho q v1 square over 4 1 plus k cos 180 minus theta and this is the mechanical efficiency so the mechanical efficiency means the power at turbine shaft over power produced by the wheel 
So this is the idea, it is the same. So we have a wheel here. Okay, this is the water jet. So the mechanical means the efficiency between the wheel here to the output power, to the generator here. So the input is the power uh, at the wheel here. That's why if you see here, this is the power at the wheel. And then the output power is actually the power that tapped by the generator or the power that uh, uh, the, the power in the grid line. So this is the overall efficiency. See, it's uh, quite the same. So it is the power at turbine shaft and the power from the water jet. So it means that if we have wheel here, so we have a water jet here. So it is start from here as the input. So that's why it's uh, located at the bottom here. And then the final output is, is the power that deliver to the national grid. So this is the output. So this is the power output means the power at the grid line and this is the power of effective heat so mean uh, uh, the power of uh, pelton wheel just before uh, it's the water jet hit the bucket 